and select the ellipse tool for his eye. Take off the outline. So it's just simply the shape. Rotate it a little bit. So it's at the angle I want. I'm going to select it, do Control K to clone it and make it a copy of it. Scale it down just a little bit. And go around and do his hair. Of course, all of these lines are vectors, so you can take them and tweak them and change them and edit them. I want this a little bit too thick. I'm going to make it a two-point line. And I'd like the thicker portion of it to be just below his lower lip as opposed to on the other end. I want to get rid of this extra node, hit the delete, select it, hit delete, tweak it a little bit. Okay, let's go down here to his sleeve. You can determine where the thick end is going to be by where you begin your stroke. But of course, you can always go into Shape Editor and change uh, where the thick end is. Let's do this. Now for those little kind of uh, detail lines, I'm going to change the thickness to 1 and then go back to my default of 3 point. Here I'm going to hold down the Alt key to make that straight and then I'll push it over. When you, hold, when you hold down the Alt key and you make it straight, and then you go to tweak it, it's almost like it's an elastic band, a rubber band. Let's do the lines on his hand. Okay, here is the whole sketch already finished. So you can see we don't have to go through every single line. You get the basic idea. You can hide the rough sketch so you can see the lines more clearly and see how they're coming out and if they're the way that you want them to be. Now you see this line which is supposed to go behind the nose or this one that's on the chest that will go behind the hand or this one that goes up into the hair. Well, I'm going to mask those overlap areas by moving those lines to a different layer, a color layer, and putting a color over those specific lines. Okay, I'm going to hide the rough. And here is my color layer. And let's uh, get rid of the outline here. Let's select a flesh tone. And we'll zoom in. I'm going to use this little tool down here. And just click where I want a node to be placed on the extremities of the overall shape. Complete the shape and then just push and pull so that the colored shape conforms to the outline that I want it to fill. Okay. You can also use the freehand little pencil tool to draw. Tweak it a little bit. Now remember this line that I want behind the nose? I'm going to select it and do. I'm going to cut it, Control X. And since I'm on the color layer, if I paste it there on the color layer, it now moves from the top layer, which is the drawing layer, and goes to the color layer, 